In today's video, I will show you how to create an AI influencer that goes viral. I will also give you the ways to monetize your AI influencer to the tune of $20,000 a month or more. This is the ultimate guide on how to create an AI influencer and these are the actual AI influencers created by the tools I'm going to show you in this video. First, we've got to create the AI influencer and for this I'm going to use this tool here called APOB. APOB kindly offered to sponsor this video and when I tested it I was pleasantly surprised so I wanted to make a video on this because check out all of these AI influencers that were created using APOB. APOB has been custom built to create AI influencers like these and it's got a ton of features like for example if I open any of these influencers then it automatically by default using its own built-in functions can keep the same consistent face and create various other images and videos using this personality and using this face. And that is a huge problem that exists right now in the AI influencer tool space where sometimes you create your AI influencer but then it's very hard to actually generate a consistent AI face from these influencers but APOB makes it extremely simple. Look at this all the same face, all the same person, and it just takes a couple of clicks to do the same in APOB for you. The other thing that's awesome about APOB is price. You get a free plan, which is quite generous, and then the actual subscription actually is very reasonably priced. If you pay monthly, you can start with $8.99 for a lot of credits per month. If you pay yearly, you get an additional discount. And if you use my link and my coupon, which is Greg15, just here on the screen, then you can get an additional 15% off. So the pricing is really good compared to its competitors as well. The first and the simplest way to create your own AI influencer in APOB is to use one of the community models or community content. So let's say we take this community model, Sailor Rosenhain, and we can open this up. We can actually use this as the starting point for building our own influencer. Depending on what model you would like to build, male, female, style, etc., you can go into here and look at view all, and then you can use any of these as the starting blocks. After you open up one of these community built models, you can use these modifiers here to further refine the style. You can use art style to refine the style of the model, whether it's pixel, Cute 3D, if you want it to be realistic, you can choose realistic. That's what I'm gonna go with, but of course you can choose what you would like. After that, you can choose further modifiers for architecture, landscape, age, clothing, and weather. I don't want the image to include architecture initially, I'm gonna go for landscape. And let's go with beach for architecture. Okay, so we've got realistic and beach modifiers selected so far. Then for age, let's go with age. So I'm gonna go with middle. Then under clothing, you can select the clothing that you would like the model to wear while we're at the beach. So we'll have to put in hot summer here and further you can choose the weather. All right, so for us, let's choose sunny day for the weather. And here we can choose the size of the image. Nine by 16 is the uh, vertical style of images. And for quality, we will choose best. Let's click generate. And here we go. We've got four versions of our influencer. As you can see, they're based off this initial influencer, but we've created our own twist uh, on this influencer. And there is some resemblance, of course, in the face, but this is to be expected because that's what we chose to do. And I can now use this influencer as the starting point for my personality so that I can generate videos and further images using this model, keeping a consistent face. And there are a couple of things that we can do straight away with our influencers. You can see there are options here to view, which just brings it up in uh, the enlarged view. Now the quality, as you noticed, is just the draft quality right now. If you wanted to generate a high definition version of this photo, you can do that by just clicking the enlarge option. Okay, we can generate a video straight away. Just from here, we can just generate a video right away. We can download this image. So it's very comfortable and convenient to, to just do everything further with your model right here from the image. Now, before we get into the actual detail of how to animate and how to create videos and, and what to do, I want to show you another way to generate your own influencer. And that is to create your own portrait model from scratch. So click plus create portrait model, or we we'll go here. And here you can just, instead of using a pre-built model to base your influence on, you can create your own model from scratch. 
there are two kind of parts. You can either upload an image. So if you want to very closely duplicate another model, you can do that here, or you can just go and cre create a new AI influencer. So we can say AI influencer generator. And here we're just starting completely from scratch. So here I can say, okay, it's a woman. Okay, for age, let's say we choose, I don't know, let's say 33. You can choose the nationality. So like a typical look. So for example, we can choose here, I don't know, randomly, let's say Norway. Here we go, Norwegian. Okay, eyes, I guess we'll have to go stereotypical and uh, choose blue. Okay, for hairstyle, let's see what to choose here. Honestly, I don't even know what most of these mean. So I'm just gonna say long straight. Okay, that's something that I know. Hair color, uh, let's say we go with blonde, face shape. I didn't even realize there are so many different face shapes. What's a good shape, guys? If you know, let me know in the comments below what is actually a good shape to have. I have no idea. I'm guessing oval, that seems like it's, you know, proportional, but uh, I have no idea. If you guys know, help me out, drop me a comment below. Do I want the dimple? Well, let's see what it looks like. We definitely don't want the beard. Okay, suntan, sure, why not? All right, uh, this looks good to me. I think we've got all the options here filled out. So let's just click generate. All right, our generation is complete. So let's select this image as reference image. All right, and this is what it looks like if we enlarge. So, I mean, everything is looking quite good. I don't see any details out of place. Um, everything seems proportional. We've got the dimple that we requested. Let's ask ChatGPT to give us a typical memorable Norwegian name for a fashion model. There we go. We've got Astrid Solheim. That will do. ChatGPT makes my life easy. I love it. So let's give this. And we can now say create your own image model now. All right. And now we've got Astrid Solheim, our model as the initial reference model. And now we can go through the same steps as I showed you earlier, which is to create all of these things the style, the environment, the appearance, the weather, and this way you're going to get the variations of this initial model. Now, as you can see right now, we're under build your own. Now we can go to complete set and under complete set, you can see all the different options for what you can have. So if we're building, let's say a fitness influencer, okay, we can go to fitness and we can say here we want a medicine ball and we'll get a complete set of photos with the medicine ball. We can do the same, for example, for burpees, etc. So you can see this is actually really, really powerful because you can get a whole set of photos just by selecting what type of a set you would like. Okay, so our set is now complete. We've got Astrid doing burpees. Okay, we've got a whole set of four photos over here. It's looking pretty good if you ask me. And of course, the good thing is that we've got the consistent face, which is extremely important. Okay, now let's say we want to enlarge one of these images. So how do we do this? We want to get better quality. So select this image and then use these controls at the bottom. We can also find these controls on the right hand side over here. And we can now click the HD button to enlarge it. Let's click generate. And right now our photo size is quite small. It's not very high resolution, but this is actually going to complete a high resolution, high definition photo for us. All right, our HD version is ready. So let's preview this. Oh, wow. You can see that the difference is huge. Now there is a lot more detail. The quality is just much better. And I suspect that this is still not the full size. So let's download it. All right. So this now here, I'm just opening this on my desktop computer. And let's just zoom in to see where it starts to pixelate. I mean, this is really high definition, really high quality photo of exactly what we've decided to produce. Next, I want to show you how to use the image swap feature, which is actually really cool. You can basically take a photo of yourself if you wanted to, and you can face swap and you can place this AI model image instead of your face. If you wanted to run an AI avatar, but you wanted to kind of like inject some real life into it, you know, you can go and take a photo outside of yourself. So for face swap, let's use this photo that I'm going to get from pexels.com. So it does not have any copyright issues. I've uploaded this photo here and let's now swap Astrid's face onto this photo. I'm going to click generate. This was the photo before and this is the photo after. So you can see the difference and face swap actually worked extremely well in this case. For best results generally, if you're going to be doing this, for example, with yourself, it's best to choose or create an AI avatar, AI influencer model that has got similar features like same color eyes, same hair, it just makes things a little bit simpler for the program to actually swap everything over. All right, now let's look at the image to video feature. So 
I can do this from here. Uh, I can go image to video and then I can select some previously generated content. Uh, I can also just upload an image or I can go to some of my previously generated images and just animate those. And let's say we want to create a video out of this image over here. So this will work pretty great for social media. It's already an HD image. So let's convert this. We just press generate video over here on the image and we've got our image preloaded. So let's just choose the quality ultra. We'll make it a five second clip and we're gonna give a description, camera panning to the right. The model has a smile on her face looking at the camera and let's now click generate. Okay, our video is ready. So let's go ahead and preview this. Now this looks really good. Look at the quality on this. I mean, I don't see anything out of place, anything strange, it's just a person smiling, camera panning. I think that all the details are there. The face looks fine, the smile looks good, the teeth are all there, the eyes, everything is actually looking really, really good. You could absolutely post this and, and if you wanted to pass this as a real person, then I don't think that anyone would pick anything up that's kind of like out of place or is looking weird. Now let's talk about how you can do lip sync. If I wanted to do lip syncing on this photo, I can just choose talking avatar. And I have two options now. I can either generate the audio from within here from APOB AI, or, or I can upload the audio. So for example, I can use 11 Labs or another tool to generate the audio, or perhaps I want to record my own voice as the audio. Let's try to generate a model just from here, right from within APOB AI. So I'm going to choose this model and let's just get it to say, follow me for more tips. For example, as the closing, as the ending of the video, I'm gonna click generate now. Now, of course, Emily, our voice model has got a French accent. So let's see how this turns out. Follow me for more tips. That's not bad. Follow me for more tips. Okay, so let's just select this audio now as reference audio and we can see this is two seconds long and generated video will be two seconds long. So that works for us, let's click generate. And there we go, we've got our lip synced video over here produced and it's actually looking really, really good. Well, now you guys know how to produce high quality, real life quality of AI influencers just like this, video, images, any personality. So let's now talk about how AI influencers are making money. So I showed you some photos of Aitana Lopez before. So Aitana Lopez is 100% AI generated. She is reported to make anywhere up to $20,000 per month. And this is her Instagram. So she's only ever made 156 posts and She's got 347,000 followers, okay, which is amazing for 156 posts. This is just insane. Uh, she makes content like this, which is just a mix of posts as well as reels. There are only three reels, so basically it's mostly just the photo content. And with 156 posts, she's managing to make over $20,000 a month. I mean, this is insane. And this is not the only model. You can go and you can find tons of AI models are doing this. Now, if you're trying to figure out how this is done, you can click on the links. Usually uh, influencers will have links. So let's click on the link tree link. And you can see there are uh, links here to the Clueless Agency, which is basically the agency that is making these, uh, these AI influencers. There is a links to Twitter, to Instagram, to TikTok, which by the way, she also has 11.4 thousand followers. So that's quite a lot as well. But most likely I would say that majority of the income for Aitana comes from this link over here, me, myself and I. And this is taking us to the fan view site. Now I'm going to blur some of the details here because I'm not sure if it's exactly enough for uh, safe for work, not safe for work, so it's blurred. But basically this fan view website is I guess a little bit like OnlyFans, but it allows AI content and some of the posts that are posted on here are available to subscribers only. You can see that uh, there are uh, subscriptions available for 750 per month. So that's one way to monetize your AI influencer if this is something you're interested in, uh, or maybe you know if you're comfortable with doing this. But there are of course various other ways that you can do this as well. You don't have to resort to this NSFW type content. I'll just give you one other example. So Betty in Biz account. Now this is not an AI influencer, but I'm just giving you an idea on the type of content that you can create because you can make images like this and you can create reels like this. You can start creating content in a particular niche, for example, in fitness 
or in keto diet, or in this case, in the business related niche, and you can build an email list and you can promote affiliate products or sell your own products. You can make money through sponsorships, through promoting affiliate products. Let's take a look at, for example, some of the keto diet influencers. So let's just um, go over here. All right, we can see 170,000 followers for this influencer. And of course, here we've got a link to join keto membership, keto trust slash memberships. Okay, so you can promote an affiliate product that you don't even have to make yourself. You can promote a product from ClickBank uh, or any other affiliate network in your niche. So for example, if you're in the keto niche, you can promote a keto product or NetBank, just insert your link over here into your profile and create content similar to this. So there are various reels. Okay, these reels make get hundreds of thousands of views and you can absolutely make this kind of content with APOB the way that I showed you before. And this link over here will be getting thousands and thousands of clicks. And of course there are going to be sales and conversions. Here is another example of a keto influencer. Okay, Jamie, Michelle. All right, you can absolutely make very similar posts to this using APOB, using AI. You can make reels like these reels here. You can also make just posts like these posts here and you don't have to show your face on camera. Don't forget that you can get access to APOB through my link with a 15% discount. Just go to this link here on the screen and use the coupon code GREG15 to get your 15% discount when you sign up. If you want, you can start with a free plan or you can go for one of the paid plans straight away. Just don't forget to use coupon code GREG15 to actually lock in your 15% discount to all of the rates that you can see here on the screen. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of the quality of the video that you can see here on the screen. I think it's really amazing and the technology has come such a long way. So smash the like button just underneath this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.